Assalamu alaikum my dear brothers and sisters I hope you are having an amazing day inshallah This is one of the most probably the most important video for for me Before I start I want to tell you guys why I'm making this video The main reason for making this video is I want to let everyone know of my identity and second thing I want to let everyone know my motive behind making these videos why do I make these videos so that if I if I die or if I'm not able to answer this no one can raise question or say anything bad Inshallah. Okay, starting off. My name is Dawood. I am 23 years old. I am Uzbek and Alhamdulillah uh, I am biling bilingual bilingual. <laughs> Alhamdulillah I can speak fluently four languages. Uzbek, Dari, English, uh, what else is there? Urdu. I am Sunni Muslim from Hanafi school of thought. Okay, that's about my identity. Now, why do I make these kind of videos? Some people, they think the reason why I make these entertaining Islamic videos is because I want to make fun of Islam. Astaghfirullah. That is kufr, guys. If I make videos with that intention, that is basically kufr. I'm gonna explain this in the easiest way possible. Listen, for mature Muslims and all the people, there are videos of alims, sheikh, and Islamic spe speakers who speak for about an hour or more. These mature or old people enjoys, enjoy these kind of videos, right? Of course, this is, uh, this is more knowledgeable videos than any, anything other. It has more value. But for a young Muslim or a non-Muslim, this would most likely be boring so they would stay away from this even though this has more value than music videos that young muslims watch now i will give you an example listen imagine there is a room okay inside this room there is a scholar of islam teaching islam how, how amazing is that a non-muslim or a young muslim is walking by okay he's passing by i mean he will not understand what this is about and he is most likely to walk away. But if there's someone standing near the door of this room to invite these young Muslims and or non-Muslims to come and sit inside and learn from this scholar because he has so much important things to say. <laughs> Do you get this? This person standing near the door would make them understand the true beauty of this and tell them why this is important and Allah is the only one who can guide but this is just an example of my intention guys. <laughs> Now I will tell you guys how I started off making these videos. One of my first ever viral Islamic videos were Hijabi Barbie Remix. I will tell you why I made that video, but remember that music is haram. Astaghfirullah. There was a time, actually it still happens. Hijabis are looked down upon in the western world. They're made fun of and even attacked for wearing hijab in the west and it gets very demotivating for them to wear hijab and dress modestly my main intention in making that song was to make hijabi sisters proud of their hijab and com get comfortable in wearing it also it was something for them to relate to and laugh about so that they would forget these daily problems they face at school or at work but one important thing to learn from this video my dear brothers and sisters do not learn islam from my videos as i make a lot of mistakes in my videos if you want to learn true islam my dear brothers and sisters i will always advise you to go to the alim sheikh or islamic speakers who have the knowledge the people of knowledge i advise you to watch the sheikhs and alims i personally love and love watching sheikh asim al hakim sheikh mufti menk Molana tariq jamil dr israr ahmed ustad noman ali khan learn islam from them and not from my videos as my videos do contain some haram things like dressing up as a girl May Allah forgive me for this, but I just don't have an alternative for this, so... So, of course, my intentions are for the benefit of everyone, but at the same time, I'm not gonna deny this, of course. I love being in front of the camera, I love having an audience, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah for this. But with great power comes great responsibility and I am always afraid of saying something wrong or doing something wrong that might affect the mindset of my audience. So 
I always pray that Allah always guides me to be the best version of myself every day so that I get better every day and my audience would also benefit from this inshallah may Allah always guide us all Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen May Allah guide my followers May Allah guide my audience May Allah guide me And if you guys also make dua that Allah guides me Inshallah May Allah reward you in this world and in the next world Inshallah Take if you can Take the good from my videos And always leave the bad May Allah forgive me A'udhu Billah May Allah always protect me from misguidance May Allah always guide me But if any time that my tongue slips Or if I do something that is against the Sunnah or the Quran. I want you guys to throw that out of the window. I want you guys to throw that out of the window. By Allah, that would be the worst thing for me to misguide someone. Thank you so much for watching till the end guys. And this was a very important video for me to make. I, I've always wanted to make this video because I don't want anyone to be misguided from my videos. My intentions are only for the good. And uh, that's about it. Thank you so much.